welcome my friends. The healing is already beginning. I'd like to offer you a practice that has been a companion to me throughout my healing journey and beyond. It's one of my favorite practices. And if you've been seeing some of these uh, videos and practices that I've shared with you, you know that I love massage. Well, today's practice is a sublime foot massage. You can do this on your bed. You can do it sitting on a chair. You could do it sitting on the ground. Uh, the range, yes, you're um, going to be reaching down for your foot. But again, I'll, I'll show you, I'm gonna do it sitting on a chair. You can do it propped up with pillows, that's okay too. And if you don't have the range to reach your foot, have somebody watch this and do it to you. It also helps to have some really nice lotion or oil if uh, you'd like to moisturize as well, just helps to add in a little bit of uh, smooth, sensation into the experience and also some nice scents are wonderful. Just make sure if you're gonna be walking around at all after you're putting lotion on, put on a pair of socks or slippers. So let's get started. Come on back with me. So, you are free again to lean back against something, prop yourself up with some pillows, sit on a couch, put your feet up. You're gonna bend into one knee and what I like to do is cross the ankle over my other leg. You can also do it with the foot standing on the surface, whatever it is. I just think it's easier to reach if you cross your leg. And again, if you don't have the range of motion to reach your foot, get somebody to watch this with you, let them do it. So first we start with intention before we even start any movement of your hands. You might even place them on your heart for a moment. So good to touch with intention. Feel a healing aspect, a healing energy in your heart moving through into your hands. If you're using lotion, now's a good time to take some, dip into it, and rub it into your hands, gently warm it up a little bit. And then let's get to the feet. So. You can take one hand on the top of your foot, one hand on the sole of your foot and stroke up and down in unison. Already feels so good, especially with intention in your touch. And you know just the right amount of pressure to give to yourself. You can also do this with one hand and have the other hand hold your foot or your leg. And then explore with an open palm and then also a fist using your knuckles, stroking up and down on the sole of the foot. You might wanna try it on the top of your foot. I prefer an open palm on the top. And then a little bit of kneading. So with an open hand, use the like a squeezing action of your thumb and your other fingers in to go around your heel, the arch of your foot. So you can use just the thumb or you can use the other fingers. Again, you might hold your foot still with your other hand. So again, just the right amount of pressure and make sure that you're breathing. You're not holding your breath. and then stroke up each individual toe. So you go from the base, right from the ball of the foot up the pinky, and then the next toe, 
just the right amount of pressure up the next toe, a little squeeze at the toe pad. Up the next one. And up the big toe. And then you can take your four fingers and interlace them in between the toes. Get as close down to the webbing as possible. And then you can rock your hand and the ball of your foot back and forth. Still breathing, yes? And you can circle here, either just the ball of the foot or the whole foot from the ankle. And then reverse that. Hmm. And there might be a few times you simply want to open your mouth and say, ah. And then release that. And again, a little bit of massaging up and down. You can stroke in, alter in alternate directions. One hand goes up while the other goes down. And then move around your ankle bone, the inner ankle and the outer ankle. One or both hands. You might take this up and around your calf muscle, back of your lower leg. And around the shin bone. And feel free to stay with this as long as you like. You can do those movements again. And you might find some other movements or strokes coming into play. And then take your hand and squeeze your toes together. Again, just the right amount of pressure, not to hurt, just to get a little bit of uh, contraction. Take a big breath in and exhale, release that. If you have some more space you wanna play with, interlace the fingers again into the toes and do that again. Squeeze the fingers in again, not to hurt or strain, just to find contraction and to actually create a little bit more space here. And then release again with a little rub. And then one of my favorite parts of this after I'm finished is to bring the foot back down and look at your feet. The one that you just massaged is usually a little bit pinker, a little bit more alive. just admiring the difference and what a little bit of touch and intention can do. Let's go to the other foot. Bring it up. Again, with intention, you might again bring your hands to your heart. And here, if you have some lotion or oil, take a little bit into your hands, rub it just to warm it up a little bit. And then bring it to your foot. Oh yes, you can go in the same direction with your hands. You might just do, uh, use one hand. You might find opposite directions. Again, you'll find your way. Once you start to get into it, you'll feel what feels best for you. And again, explore with open palm or fist up and down, one or both hands. And again, just notice your own range of motion, what's available to you right now. So if your range is a little bit smaller or you wanna stay a little bit closer into yourself, it might just be one hand that's doing this. You might wanna wait a day or two to do it to yourself after a procedure. You might do this when you're in the middle of some kind of treatment or in a waiting room. And then start to use that kind of kneading feeling in between the thumb and the four fingers. So you can use both hands or again, one hand. And start with the arch of the foot, stroking upwards towards the ball of your foot. You can move around the heel. And again, I'm just using 
a cupping motion of my fingers around the heel, more of a stroking up and down along the arch, the inseam and the outseam of the foot, the pinky side and the big toe side, all the way up to the ball of the foot. You're breathing, right? Not holding your breath. And then up each toe, the length of each toe. So up the pinky and then the fourth toe, third toe, second toe and big toe. Top of the foot and around your ankle. You can use one or both hands. And then up the calf again, that kind of kneading, massaging, feeling around your calf, like you're kneading dough. And then around the shin bone, those muscles feel so good when you do this, just squeezing along the shin bone. And then take your hand and squeeze your toes in. So just a little bit of compression and you're breathing. And again, you'll know just the right amount of pressure to hug in. Also feels good, just very warming, like a little cocoon for the toes. And then release that and weave your fingers in between the toes and circle around the ball of the foot. And then if you wanna go deeper, you can circle your ankle. And make sure you reverse the circle, just the right range of motion, the speed, the pace, the touch. And again, if you're just doing the ball of your foot, make sure that you find that movement as a circle or back and forth. And then keep your fingers interlaced here and give a little squeeze just the right pressure. Yes, my friends. Breathing. And then let go, another little bit of stroking. And the release and the gazing. Oh, feet are so happy. This might lead you into uh, lying back and going to sleep or taking a nap or more of a massage for the rest of your body. Or you might slip on some socks if you use lotion or oil and get ready to move on to another activity. So don't hesitate to use massage as a way to heal as part of your healing journey. Anytime, this is a wonderful practice by yourself or with someone else. So you can bring your hands back to your heart if you like, lift your heart up. Just feel the energy you're giving to yourself, the intention you're giving to yourself. And with great gratitude that you're coming into these healing practices, offer gratitude to yourself in your own heart. So grateful that you're here sharing your journey with us. Go easy, be peaceful, do what you need to do, express yourself the way that you need to express yourself. always with great compassion. Have a wonderful day and into your evening. Namaste, friends. Shine your light. Go easy on that healing path. Go easy on yourself. See the light within you. Stay compassionate.